Peter Moody, one-time Leviathan trainer, now a, a boutique operation. Wiley Dalziel, Dalziel Racing, one of your bigger clients and, and a relationship that's long-standing with you. Yeah, no, Wiley and I go back a long way and uh, he's been a sort of stalwart of the stables for, you know, best part of probably 15 years now, I'd reckon, and uh, we've had good success. And uh, um, as a trainer for him, uh, as a part advisor, uh, as an owner, um, you know, it's been a great association. Uh, he's an extremely passionate man. He loves his racing. And from a trainer's perspective, he's very easy to work with. And you famously don't like dealing with owners that much. So having an owner like Wiley, uh, one who you consider a friend, uh, must make your life a lot easier because he knows his stuff and, as you say, he's passionate about racing. Yeah, and, and he services his clients extremely well, which takes the pressure off me. Um, we have people come through the yard and look at their horses and we see them on race day, but they've, they've sort of got all the information in front of them. They know where the horses are at, where we think they're headed. We try and keep everyone's uh, expectations in check. We give it a realistic assessment on their horses. And most importantly, if the horses aren't going to give the owners a return, we recommend that we move them on. We don't sort of hang on to them and, and, and drag them out. She can have another trial and then we'll just get her up sort of 14, 1500. Yep. Uh, first up. Yeah. They're rolling along, they were just too sharp for yesterday, the other day. Yeah. He's still a bit soft this one. Is he? Let's see whether he gets there this time or not. Just in the, in the knees and yeah. stuff. A bit open in the knees, still a bit soft. Strong. Yeah, right, we might just have to wait a little bit longer, but he's hopefully got wings in him. As long as he keeps showing or something. Yep. I'm happy to wait if, if the wait's worth it. Yes. And he doesn't just lob any old horse with you. I mean, you have a, a, a big say in his bloodstock as well, and you did before your back training. Uh, you and him selected a lot of horses that went to other trainers. Mr. Quickie, of course, with, with Stokesy. So so you know what you're getting from Wiley, don't you? Yeah, well, we go to the sales and we work together, and, uh, you know, uh, Philip Stokes and myself, uh, we work closely with Wiley, and, uh, you know, trainers like horses coming in the gate that... Uh, they're going to look forward to seeing going forward and uh, you know while he goes off and does his own thing every now and again and finds a nice horse but on the whole he works closely with Philip and I and uh, you know we select bloodstock that we'd like to see walk in the gate and, and horses that we'd like to train and think that will give the owners that opportunity for a good return. And racing is about more than just winning group ones I mean winning any race is, is fun whether it be you know at Donald or at Flemington or wherever but you had a and a part ownership of Mr Quickie and it did win a Group 1, you didn't train it though. How much would it mean to you to, to train a Group 1 winner for Wiley Dalziel and Dalziel Racing? Oh listen, it'll be very special. Uh, you know, we went close, uh, we've been placed in a golden slipper and uh, you know, we've had a lot of nice horses but to get that one over the line that would be pretty extra special.